Hey Jen, uh, back here with some rum this time. We've got two two lots here. I, they're quite ancient. I made them months ago, fermented them about months ago. Um, this one's quite a dark one. Uh, that was made purely with molasses, uh, some fruit, uh, and this one is a slightly lighter one. Uh, what well, came out slightly lighter. Uh, and that was just uh, molasses and also a bit of a grain conversion, so it's kind of like a hybrid sort of moonshine whiskey rum thing. Um, just did the final hydrometer results, so I haven't haven't uh, done any calculations yet and looked up what the, the initial hydrometer results were. Uh, so I want to get the, the still running. Beautiful day. Outstanding day to be out distilling in the bush. <laughs> so, um, I've got those two to go into the into the kettle and also the uh, about a pint worth of uh, alcohol from the heads from the moonshine run that I did just to top up any deficit and looking at the hydrometer results just, just basic calculations in my head I think they might be running low on the alcohol content um, they taste quite different I got a mouthful of each of them when I was siphoning out the uh, measuring cylinder for, for to do the hydrometer result uh, so uh, let's bring them in the kettle, see where they go. I know that they're different, they're different recipes, and ideally I should uh, process them separately and see what the result was. But it's Christmas. I want some rum. Just fired up the the gas. I've got my condenser filling up, and we're about 30 degrees centigrade on the thermometer here. I think that's just because the sun's been hitting it for for 10 minutes. It's it's quite warm. I say it's a beautiful day out here. Fantastic. Might be beer time. In fact, it'd be quite a good place to keep beer bottles cold in there. <laughs> okay, I'll uh, come back when there's something more interesting happening. Well, we're just on 50 degrees in the, the still head. The gas vapour up in here, that's the temperature of that stuff. And out here we're just starting to get our, our first condensate. It's only a couple of drops in there at the moment, but that's all the acetone and methyl alcohol. Uh, all, the, all the nasty stuff you don't want to be putting in yourself or in other people. Um, then I've got about nine or ten gallons in there, so a, a, around around 40 litres thereabouts. So as a rule of thumb, uh, 125 mil per 20 gallon wash. Uh, sorry, 20 litre wash. So I've got 40. It's about 250. Uh, I'm going to take well on in excess of 250 off that just to be safe bring it in there and just add it to the four shots from the last uh, the, the last moonshine run I did and I've found it makes excellent cleaning product takes takes permanent marker off uh, the top of jars for instance four shots is actually quite quite useful cleaning product you won't need to buy methanated spirits or isopropyl alcohol again it's getting getting dark now um, started late and had a screw up with running out of gas so yeah it's going to be a a fairly late finish. I've got a night light out here to work by though. Onto my fifth jar and we're running at around what are we on there? Oh, something around 65 still on the fifth jar. Um, temperature's up to uh, 90, 90 degrees at the moment in the head and I'm um, just and catch up with the um, the condenser. I've got to work out a better way of doing this. Um, sort of maybe put two taps on up off the side of the condenser because I can control the in inlet and outlet rather than running around to hoses, uh, to garden hoses and back and forward. Well, I don't know what you can see here at the moment. It's all pretty dark apart from the backlight here. Um, onto my eighth, ninth jar. Ninth jar, and it's sitting at about 50%. Just 
trickling off there we're on about 92, 90 degrees centigrade there coming, probably coming to the end of the run now might get fill that jar, maybe get one extra off at about 40% um, you can't really see the condenser there uh, that's water's coming in as fast as it's going out with the siphon just to, ch to keep it cool uh, more on the big ring and the burner there uh, it's just turned to about halfway up and that's just nicely maintaining the temperature there well I'll uh, wrap up here get the last jar out and I'll show you what I've got in the way of yield in the kitchen with some more light in a while and here's the final yield there's uh, 11 and a half jars 11 came out about 30% uh, going by the alchemeter and the parrot and number one came out at 75% when I closed the lid on it uh, I did a just a pint for the first jar um, and then went swapped out back over to quartz the reason being that I figured I'm probably going to cut the, uh, that as the top of the heads off um, going by the moonshine the, that I did previously the, um, the first jar had a bit of a taint to it or a, a bit of a smell to it I'll do a test, have a, have a taste test over these guys uh, but they all, all definitely have a rum flavour um, this guy was starting to run out of uh, definitely run out of kick to it by this stage but especially here but it still had quite a strong rum flavour uh, which is pretty cool so um, I'm going to do a quick taste test and uh, cut something together ok Merry Christmas everyone I'll uh, get to it on cutting this down we've got uh, almost 6 litres of the uh, rum it's at 60% so cask strength uh, that's pretty much just what it, it worked out at when I uh, condensed, it all, con condensed it all down in, uh, in a tempering uh, stock pot. I've uh, taken that, that uh, almost six litres is with about two litres taken off it um, that I've, I've put in the bottle just for, for gifts. I've uh, got one family member who's ex-Navy and my dad who, who likes, likes rum. Uh, we'll see what that is. <laughs> See whether they like this stuff. It's a bit rough. Um, and what I'm, what I'm going to do with this uh, jar here, the six liters, is uh, I'll fish out some dominoes from somewhere and uh, pop them in there and watch it age. Um, try and try and age it a bit, get some colour in it. Um, might have a bit of a play with uh, caramelising sugar and adding that into it too. And I've also saved off some of the dunder um, from the still kettle. And I've heard that some of the um, some of the rum companies that make dark rum actually do something with the dunder and then add a, a small quantity of that back into the rum. So um, I'll have a bit of a think and a, a read and try and find out what exactly that's all about, uh, and maybe do some small scale experiments on that. And in the meantime, I'll have some moonshine washing there. Um, I've got another 50 so 50 or so um, litres of uh, rum wash that I put down yesterday. They're happily bubbling away there. Um, that's nice and warm this time of year here, so it's about 18, 20 degrees. So that should probably take about a week. And then I'll uh, have another run and uh, see how that one turns out. Um, that one's got no dark sugar in it at all, that's all molasses and it's bubbling away quite happily there so we'll see how that all, how that all turns out and I'll uh, give you an update when I've, I've found some dominoes